Welcome to Alfie Castero. We are back again with another channel message for the collective. We are just going to jump right in and get started. Okay, so we did have a couple of jumpers uh, today. We do have the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck, but we're going to start here with this Magician into the Fool and the Two of Pentacles and the Emperor. Okay, you are looking fantastic. I do want to say I see you taking the initiative to make big changes in your life. You're stepping into your power, whether you're masculine or feminine. You are taking your your wants, your wishes, your hopes, your dreams. You're grounding them down into reality. And you are jumping in like the fool and heading in that direction. And in doing so, you're balancing out everything that was kind of... It's like when we stand in our authenticity, things start to change for us. When we're manifesting our wishes, hopes, and dreams, and we're really putting in the actual footwork in the physical, things start to change within us, within our vibration, and it starts drawing in more to us, right? There's something to be said about being in that energy. It creates a great amount of stability in your forward movement and groundedness to your dreams. I feel like being in this emperor energy is going to be the one thing that really gets you where you want to go. I feel like you're very keen on looking into what you want and where you want to go. Um, I feel like the path that you're on is something I do want to say tried and true. So... I feel like you just didn't want to miss out on the opportunity to become, yeah, to become stable on your own. Um, this could be a side hustle. This could be something special that you're bringing into fruition. This could be a job that you're at and you're just excelling and, I don't know, getting a raise or taking on more there. Um, I feel like there's room to grow wherever this is and you're starting to really fly high. I feel like it really fills you up, whatever this type of work is. It's something you're really, really good at. You're talented or it's just, it's, it's something you can do with ease, whatever this is. And I feel like you really shine for this. So whether this is you on your own or at a business itself, um, I feel like you're really standing out for all the right reasons. It's like you're, I want to say you're finally getting that recognition that you deserve for all your hard work. Yeah, you're going to start celebrating. You might even be able to cut down your hours because of the hard work that you've put in and the way you're stepping forward right now. It's a really gorgeous energy. Yeah, look, there's those wishes, hopes, and dreams. It's taken a lot of strength to get here. You didn't really know if it was going to pan out, but you went for it en uh, anyway and changed yeah energy in any way. Um, you changed the energy surrounding yourself and what you could achieve. It was a change in perspective. It's like you got tired of thinking, well, you know, I'm stuck here or this is all I can achieve. I feel like you threw that into the trash and you decided to celebrate who you are. And that's when the energy switched up. That's when you cut the cords to that toxicity. You became committed to self and what you want. You followed your heart, your soul's own compass, and it's leading you to really beautiful places. Yeah, again, there's it's like there's no worry about the uncertainty, and I, I really want to stress this. I feel like um, you might want to check out yesterday's reading, uh, the daily. This kind of feels like, um, I believe it was the Halloween deck, uh, the Halloween oracle that I had used. I feel like that reading trails into, I'm seeing the tether there, trails into this. It's like you've decided to follow who you are and become more. You've actually put in the footwork with that emperor. And now you're starting to manifest things in the physical. It's like you went from the dream stage with this magician into the pulling it into reality and making it a thing. I love this. You're nurturing yourself. You're nurturing your life and things around you. And yeah, you're going to be very, very fortunate. I feel like you're creating your fortune right now. This is so beautiful. I'm so happy for you. You've got a lot of soulmates up on the path ahead. It's not even really about the soulmates and the love. I feel like these could be friends as well as, you know, your family members. I feel like you've got a lot of people that are... Um, I want to say very proud of you, or you're going to make everyone very, very proud. Now, we do have this little Christmas tree here. Um, so that that was also something that came out yesterday. It was kind of tucked in here, and I just noticed it. So you could like Christmas, or your, your person 
maybe a soulmate coming in might like Christmas. I do feel like there's something, there's a tether to that, and that was also yesterday. So Spirit is just, again, reiterating that there's a tether to yesterday's reading. You might want to check that out. Um, there might be some good things in there for you, some little gems. Um, we do have the Five of Cups. You could have been coming from spilled cups and sour energy or saddened energy and you might have had to go through a healing process yeah you had to go through a tower and that feeling down and out and to get to that death and rebirth where you can come in this much stronger I really love it I feel like I hear standing tall in the face of adversity it's like I don't know if people knocked you down and they thought you would stay down but you're not that type to stay down. You get back up and you keep fighting. And I feel like now you fought so hard that you're really, I, I hear you're the boss. So it's like you've gotten to that place where you're the boss of your own life. Masculine, feminine, doesn't matter. Um, I feel like you've laid down a lot of these burdens now. And um, it's like you know when to share yourself. You know when to say no. You know what feels right. I feel like you have nice strong boundaries. And I feel like you gained those from all of the tough situations that you've been through. I feel like you're very fair. You're very just. Um, and you're fair and just to yourself. Yeah. I feel like you were stuck in your head before, but now it's like you're coming out victorious. And I do feel like you have love coming in as well. You may have a, love, a loving soulmate come in very, very soon. Could be from now until Christmas. I know that's a bit of a span, but I am kind of seeing that. So I, I want to say before the new year, this person could be coming in onto your path. I really love it. I feel like, yeah, that's where you're sitting, that nine of cups. I feel like you are quite emotionally fulfilled all on your own. And it would be prime time for you to actually call in a soulmate or your soul might actually be calling in a soulmate because you finally hit this vibration of that I'm good all on my own. And if someone comes in, it's going to be a really beautiful bonus, right? I love to see this. This is gorgeous energy collective. I love to see you shining like this. And if you're not on this path yet, you could very shortly be stepping onto this path and in your um, and stepping into your becoming stage. So I really love that. You could be at any point on this journey. This could be you just starting out, and that's what this is where you're gonna go. Um, I really love that. Put in that effort, that energy for yourself, and there isn't anything that you can't accomplish in this lifetime. I really love that. Okay, where are we going? We're going here. We have this little um, this little deck here. And I was drawn to it today. It's a little by the sea type of deck. All right, what do we have? I kind of want that, whatever it is. Release. Okay, it says, may you lay down your burdens. Gratitude, thankful for the journey. Um, may you honor all that you received. Let's see, what else? And persist. Yeah, this is kind of tethering to the other reading. It's like, release all that holds you back, all that keeps you small, and be thankful for everything you have. That is really the recipe to an immense amount of forward movement, releasing what doesn't serve you anymore. It's like seeing it, realizing it, understanding it, and making those changes. Um, and then just being thankful for all that you do have and being persistent as you step forward and you keep stepping forward. You keep heading down this journey. Um, stay excited about where you're going and what you could be achieving. I feel like that's the recipe to success here. Accept. I do, I wanted to say accept the blessings. I do feel like you may have an immense amount of blessings being poured onto your life. Um, I want to say accept them with gratitude. Say thank you for all of these beautiful things that are coming in for you. Um, even if you just send it up as like a universal thank you. Um, I feel like spirit is kind of honoring you for doing the work. I do feel like you have a good, I'm seeing grapes. So I feel like that's great abundance. It could be monetary abundance coming in as well. This could be a windfall of monetary abundance coming in. Yeah, this is powerful, powerful energy. I feel like spirit is almost giving you a powerful push in the right direction. It's like 
you finally stepped onto the path and spirit's like, oh, no, 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 we've got to encourage this soul. They're doing so well. They've really been putting the work in. Let's sprinkle some really great things onto their life and let them know that we see them. It's like spirits go, I see you. I see you. But in the best way possible. Ooh, okay. Space. It says, may your heart and your scope expand. I feel like that's what Spirit's asking for you. I hear nothing but blue skies. So I feel like Spirit is really ushering in some really good times ahead. I really love that. I feel like you're going to make a lot of headway in your life. Allow. May you soften into what is. So all that you're going through right now, the goods, the bads, the in-between, just know that it's all part of the plan, all part of the process. Be in a state of allowance. Also, with the things flowing in, um, keep your arms wide open and make sure you keep it in mind that you're open to receive. I feel like we can block a lot of our blessings out or hold them off because we feel like we don't deserve them. Know you deserve every good thing that comes to you is for you. Um, and it's just really getting it in your mind that I deserve these good things. Um, even if you've made mistakes in the past, even if you've done harsh things in the past, what's coming to you now is a result of what you're you're reaping what you sow. So make sure you keep your arms wide open so spirit knows that they can keep pouring into you. It's like maybe you've made up for those things time and time again, but you haven't forgiven yourself. I feel like that that kind of does tend to create blocks. So stay in a state of allowance. And yeah, look, we've got receive at the bottom. Stay open to receive. Really big energy. Yeah, with ease. This is something you don't have to even try. May it be effortless. And I feel like that's your forward movement at this point. Maybe you're coasting through or you've gotten to a certain point where you feel really great about what you've accomplished. Or you will be. You soon will be. Maybe this kind of takes the financial strain off in the future. This could be a windfall of money that um, this could be a new job that you enter that pays you more, that takes the financial burden off and really eases your forward movement. Um, this could be a new vehicle that kind of comes in as a blessing that takes off the burden of, you know, maybe you don't have to spend money on public transportation or, you know, paying someone else to get you where you need to go. It, it does have something like that coming in. I do feel like a blessing of sorts is coming in. It's going to be a little different for you, um, for everyone, rather. Is there anything else, Spirit? I hear, oh yes, there's more. Wild, may you express all that you are. Yes, yeah, stand in your authenticity. Always, always a huge message with spirit. They love to see you shining individually as you are, as you've been created to be. You like what you like for a reason. You do what you do for a reason. Um, you're different for a reason. You're not meant to fit in. You're meant to stand out. Yeah, it's going to make you feel so alive to just be who you are in front of everyone. Um, I hear devil may care. It's like, uh, you know, I, I really love that energy. It's just feeling free and being at ease in your own energy and being who you are. Um, there are going to be people that love you and people who dislike you for being who you are. Um, allow that. Because the right people will stay and the other ones will be deterred. Let them be deterred. Let them move in another direction. They're not for you. And that's okay. Um, you know, we often think that we have to go the extra mile to make someone like us or to fit in. Um, but really, your greatest asset in this lifetime is to just stand in your authenticity and be loved for who you are. And be disliked for who you are too. I feel like you'll get the most... Um, beautiful connections that way by being honest about who you are and what you like and what you don't. Standing up for yourself. Yeah, you decide. I feel like um, it says, may you navigate with purpose. And I feel like that's what you're doing. Remain curious about this lifetime. Yeah, it's going to lead you to your bliss. You've been very, very resilient. And now spirit's gifting you with this lightness of energy in some way, shape or form. I love it. For some of you, you might just be stepping onto this journey. Congratulations, though, if you've stepped onto this energy. It's going to bring you beautiful blessings along. Just, um, yeah, I do hear paintbrush. So you could be at the beginning stage where you're just stepping on. They say, you know, dream big, think big. What do you want to create in your life? You're at a paintbrush stage. That canvas is blank. Don't, don't keep it small. Don't play it small just to stay safe. Think big, create big. 
and you'll really go places. I feel like Spirit's saying you can achieve more than you think you can. Pause. Yeah, take a time, take a time out to play, relax, rejuvenate yourself. Um, and the path will re re will blah, 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 will reveal itself as you go. Yeah, I love it. I could keep going. I feel like there are a million messages in this deck. I'll have to pull it out another time. I feel like um, there's a lot coming through. There are a lot of blessings along this path. So whether you're seasoned and getting ready for this windfall of blessings to come in for you, or you're just beginning and this is what's up ahead, um, it looks really gorgeous. You might wanna claim this. Um, I'm definitely gonna claim this reading for myself. I don't do that normally, but this sounds good to me. I love forward movement and blessings and, you know, that come in from doing the work and being who you are. Love it, love it. Okay, where do I wanna go? I wanna go here. Do I wanna go here? I think so. All right. What do we have? Oh, it kind of wanted to hide. What are you? The wolf instincts. Why? Balance. Okay, pull back to balance. And restore is kind of what I, it says renewal. Yeah, but I heard restore. So, um, yeah, to restore happiness. Okay. All right. This is either you or someone you're dealing with. I do want to say it that way because I feel like the thing is, I feel like you're the wolf in this situation. Um, you might have pulled your energy back for a little bit just to kind of balance yourself out. Maybe you've been doing too much or giving too much of yourself. You may need to pull back your energy, relax, balance yourself out, and renew your energy and your spirit. Um, so you can come out being your sunny self. Sometimes we take on too much energy. We say yes to too many things or too many projects or too many people, right? Um, and sometimes spirit just calls for us to pull our energy back to restore the self. Release what's no longer serving you. If you've got some heavy energy on you, take a healing bath or um, just hop in the shower and imagine it all just melting away from the day or the days before um, if you've not had a chance to really clear your energy. Sometimes that happens. We get overburdened in life and, you know, we get to those busy points in life and we forget to pull back our energy and really just take the time to clear out and take stock of where we are and what we want and how we're feeling, right? Um, there may be a touch of stubborn energy here. This is someone who wants to give, wants to give, wants to give, and then gets to the point where they're exhausted. Um, I know this energy because I do this. Um, I almost kind of feel called out just a little bit here, but I feel like, uh, there are a lot of you out there who could be the same, who just put in a lot of energy and effort into, um, just being there for everyone that you possibly can. And then, you get to a point where you're like, I'm so tired. I could just fall asleep standing up. And I feel like that's kind of the energy or you don't sleep at night because you're, you've taken on so much energy where it's hard to actually fall asleep. That's been happening to me lately. I haven't had a good night's sleep in quite a while. Um, and I think I'm due for this pullback energy. So I'm kind of feeling like this might be um, something that's going through the collective, maybe of earth angels, light workers, healers, uh, channels. So you could be getting to a point where you need just a little bit of rest. Maybe everything's been going too fast or it's like I hear the summer's getting ready to kick off, but you might need to uh, log off or sign off. Could also be something along the lines of listening to your inner self and your soul or your channel or whatever messages are coming in for you. It could be something along the lines of a detox. Um, so maybe you wanna put down the phone a little while and switch it up and get some fresh air. Um, take an afternoon off, uh, give your eyes a break from all the extra, you know, it's like be mindful of what type of energies you're taking on from the world. Um, I I'm hearing rage bait. So I don't know if someone has gone down the rabbit hole and is feeling, overly stressed and has taken on energy from that type of thing, um, you know, put the phone down for a while, detox from that if you need to. I feel like there's a lot out there that can really get you riled up and kind of siphon your energy. And I feel like that's what those things do. They really siphon your energy. 
I hear loyalty to the self and give back to the self. So um, it's really just offering yourself another option. Um, you know, maybe turn on something uh, like music wise as well. Turn on something that feels good versus um, something that inspires anger and uh, heavy energies. I feel like it's all about really um, being very mindful about what you're taking on right now. I feel like spirit is advising you to, yeah, stay in your peace. We have that lily. It's like, I feel like you can transform your life to from this point. You might not be able to see how heavy some of these energies are and how they might actually be holding your holding you down or weighing you, uh, weighing you back. Okay. <laughs> weighing you down and holding you back. Uh, I need sleep. Forgive me. Um, so it could be something along those lines as well. Yeah. You might actually be getting back on track after you take this little, little break. I wanted to say sabbatical. Um, yeah. To balance yourself out and get that support. To reconnect with yourself and your unconditional love. And I feel like this is love for self as well. And then you can start exploring back. Um, but I feel like maybe you'll have a better sense of what might be for you out there in the world and what isn't and maybe how to steer clear of certain um, types of energy that can be just strewn out there on the internet, right? Yeah, it's finding alignment again. I feel like the heavier energy and you expending your energy on people around you and then taking on different energies, I feel like you've just become uh, overtaxed or overburdened. Yeah. You'll be able to hear your intuition a little bit clearer once you take this little break and then you'll be able to forge your path ahead and start accomplishing those goals again. Yeah, Spirit's trying to say this is making you stagnant. Um, believe it or not, your mindless scrolling creates stagnancy in your life um, or it is. You've taken on a lot of heavy energy. That's not yours to carry. Spirit's saying put an end to that so you can get back to your growth game um, and really put down those roots. I feel like, you know, that's a way for uh, the negativity to kind of find you is getting comfortable in that stagnant energy. Spirit's saying keep assessing it and get back that passion and purpose for moving forward. All right. Little message from Spirit there. Okay. That was hard to get together, and I feel like that's a symbol itself. In itself, it's hard to get together. All right, what do we want? Do I want that or this? I kind of want this. All right, we're going here. I haven't used this deck in a little while. Okay, backstabbing, starting off strong. Zero to 100, right? We have separation in reverse. Hmm, give me more. Karmic relationship, okay. I want one more, sword in the rose, okay. You could be dealing with a karmic soulmate or the person that wants to be dealing with you um, or the person coming in, I would say has maybe separated from a karmic situation and is coming towards you with truth to provide truth and clarity uh, because they've had revelations about where they want to be or what they want or that they caused pain and they caused the separation the separation and the loss there could have been some form of lies and deception as well um this could have been a shocking attack from this person or something shocking happened like um a break apart or um a ghosting of some sort it's got some sort of some sort of shock value. Please forgive my mouth. I don't know why it's not working today. Just bear with. Oh, sleep. Yeah, yeah. Love. All right. So this person feels love for you, um, and I, I want. I want to say they figured it out way too late. Um, and you may be feeling that way. You may be feeling less than forgiving when it comes to this person. It's like you're blowing and kiss and go bye and moving off in your own direction um maybe on to a date with someone else or this person is coming back telling you that they would yeah okay 
So they're being honest about maybe addiction. That could be for some. And the ending of that. The ending of the other karmic situation. I feel like, you know, when it comes down to it, this is a person that loves you. You might not want to hear it from this person right now. Um, you may be a little upset with this person and the way that they kind of stabbed you in the back. I feel like if this is a more recent situation, um, and I want to say very recent, then this might be where you are. If this is an older situation, and I mean like quite a while, this person may be coming back in and explaining what they've been through. Now, they may be a little worried that you're out dating someone else or that you've moved in a different direction and you're not all that interested in them and the past and the nostalgia. Um, but, yeah, they're a little afraid you're going to say, no, not today. Um, but they're going to try and seduce you to get back in. I said this person's not, I wanted to say this person's not above that uh, type of behavior to get what they want. I feel like it's not that they have a bad intention behind it, but they're looking to use all, they're, they're looking to utilize all the tools they have at their disposal and their seduction is one of them. That's, you might know this person to be very seductive or um, very sexy in that way and, and have that kind of come to me energy. Um, I just feel like for some of you, you're gonna say yes. For some of you, you're gonna decide against this. I feel like, wow, I'm having deja vu right now. Very interesting. Okay, I feel like for some of you, you're going to be really surprised because this person's going to show up and it's going to be a long time coming is what I hear. So that's for some. For others where it's shorter, you might be kind of, I hear dissing and dismissing this person and going in another direction to experiment with new opportunities and new people. And it might be the ending of this situation. I feel like it's going to go all different ways. There's one thing that is very specific with all of this energy, though. You yourself are the phoenix. Um, so you're rising back up from the ashes, whether you're stepping into this old uh, situation and um, renewing it or stepping into the new after the fact that you went through this pain and heartache. So regardless of the fact you are the phoenix in this situation and you may whether you're with this person or a new person be heading towards something more committed um yeah you've got a soulmate coming in now yeah i i, I hear it. it's going all sorts of ways um for some of you this was a karmic partner where you learn the lessons for others of you this is a higher level soulmate who needed some time to grow and learn so yeah, we do have twin flames as well. Soulmates and twin flames. Wow. Okay. But like I said, there's a a new type of soulmate coming in over here. And then there's the twin flame energy, that come back around energy. And then there's like so long see a sayonara. And that's um, someone heading towards the new. Um, but I do feel like that could have been karmic situation, right? So there's a little bit of everything in here. But there's definitely one theme you're renewed and you've got a new partner coming in. So whether it's a new old partner or a new new partner, doesn't matter, but that's what's coming in. Evolving, growth, next phase, healing the inner child and releasing the past. I feel like that's also for both or everyone here um, that resonates with this type of energy. Anything else? Yeah, this person's got a mirror type of soul. Um, yeah, reflection, introspection. I do want to say um, inner wounds, but I wanted to say inner growth. So I feel like cross out the wounds and say inner growth, introspection, and self-reflection, which is in a very healthy way. Yeah, I feel like it's dealing with the heartbreak and ascending from that. We have key on a ring, many options, unconventional, one night stand, and string along. For those of you who are moving in a different direction, this was not what you, you know, this might have been what you did experience from that person. Um, doesn't mean they're not going to come back around and try, but I feel like um, you're leaving this behind so you can have a new experience that will lead to what you want, that commitment, that union, that marriage with the wedding rings here, someone who can be devoted. You're, you're looking for that love call. And I feel like the funny thing is, no matter what your background is, which, which one you choose, it's all leading to the, this. It's all leading to commitment or a new love call. Um, so like I said, new old person or um, new new person. 
doesn't matter. You might be meeting this person over a cup of coffee or just having a quiet little sit down with this person, but Cupid's arrow strikes. So have faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation struck by love. I love it. So looks good. Anyway, you can kind of flip it. It looks like love or partnership is coming in. It's on the menu for just about everybody or the opportunity for it is coming in. It's always up to you whether you decide to take it. I am just the reader. I just let you know what is coming. It is always entirely up to you 100% whether or not you want to hop in with somebody or I heard you want to shack up with somebody. <laughs> All right. Oh, I saw it, but then it fell. Which one? There it is again, I feel like. Yep, what is this? So we have intuition. Why do I feel like intuition always starts out the readings? Um, I feel like that's a theme. Anybody else notice that? Intuition normally starts out the reading. Um, we do have that black cat energy too. So you might realize that you have a lucky streak coming up. Hmm. Groundedness. This may be something that you're manifesting, something to do with luck. And you may know it too. You may just feel it. Okay, so this could be um, mantras and meditation and calling in certain types of energy for the self. You could be working on your I am's. Extremely powerful energy there when you work with that I am. Um, if you want to make things move in your life, start using those I am's. You'll get somewhere for sure. Um, we have authenticity. I love it. I love how spirit just keeps pushing that out there. This is how you get where you're going. I know the world is so, you know, has an adverse reaction to being authentic, um, because it's a little scary. It's a little frightening. I get it. But I feel like that's how you go places when you become so comfortable in your authenticity that it doesn't matter what anybody say it says. It doesn't matter what their opinion is um, because it doesn't slow you down. It doesn't stop your blessings from coming in. That's what happens when you stand tall um, and be who you are. So we've got another message of encouragement from spirit to stand in your authenticity. Something about strategy. What is it? Oh, okay, so come up with a game plan for the new cycle that's coming in. Again, spirit is ushering in that new energy. Um, you could have a great amount of forward, forward movement through the summer. Yeah, spirit is saying work on your fears. Um, if a fear bubbles up, don't just push it back down. Um, pull it up by the roots right then and there. When something comes up in your mind, ah, that's what we're talking about. Okay, so these are more surface things. When a fear pops into your mind, like the what ifs, okay? When the what ifs happen. What if this? What if that? What if this slows me down? What if this gets in my way? What if this person tries to stop me? As soon as those what ifs come in, automatically flip that, turn it into an I am. I am accomplishing this. Uh, I can do this, or I can go this way. Um, I feel like when you pull those little surface what ifs up and out, make sure you follow it up with an I am that reaffirms what you want and where you're going, that these little what ifs can't stop that, right? Um, I feel like that's just, that's the way you do it right away. You don't shove it back down and say, oh, I don't even want to think about that. No, think about it. Pull it back up and say, look, this is not going to happen. This is me being fearful of. Find a way to debunk it, right? Whatever that is, that's going to be a beautiful part of your forward movement. And that's something you could take with you as a tool for the rest of your life because those what ifs are always going to kind of trickle in. You just have to be really diligent about pulling them up right when you see them. It's like, no, 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 no. We're not going to think that way. We're not going to, we're not going to worry about what could happen. We're just going to think about what we want to happen and really focus that energy there. Yeah. Life can be really sweet when you do that. Um, yeah. And that's the truth. Spirit says we have truth there. Yeah. I feel like you know divine secret. Again, I'm getting that energy. It's like I'm talking to someone who understands this concept 
really well. Um, maybe you understand it, but you haven't been applying it recently. Spirit says, go back to that. Go back to applying this, um, this little tactic because it's going to get you where you want to go or it's going to open new doors and you'll be able to realize where you want to go. So either way, yeah, you've got ancestors and spirit on deck. Oops, we dropped the butterfly. So that was um, transition or um, growth in some way. I'm not gonna pick it up. We have the watcher, yeah. You're being watched over as you make these changes. You're following your soul song with that orca. I love it. And you may have good news coming in about a new opportunity. This could be an opportunity for partnership as well. I do feel like that's what's coming through. It's people who've really been putting the focus on self and not really thinking about love, um, not really so worried about when love's coming. Um, I know I'm like that. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I'm, I'm looking to create in my life right now, but if it comes along and it's for me, it's like, then I'll hop in. And I feel like I'm talking to somebody who kind of feels the same way. It's like, I don't need it. Um, I want it and it would be great to have it, but I don't need it right now unless it's right for me. And I kind of feel like um, you'll know what it is when it comes. You're looking for a certain type of person. And I feel like there's loyalty with this dog as well. Um, and I hear a loyal companion. So this could be a friend turned lover. Uh, for some in the future. Yeah, look, there's loyalty again. Um, I love it. So a loyal partner. I feel like that's an emphasis on the loyal. Yeah, and equality. Somebody who can give like you give or share like you share. And we have sacrifice and resistance in the reverse. I feel like now that you're in better energy uh, or you're heading towards better energy, I do feel like there's going to be less of a resistance as you move towards partnership um, because you've accomplished a, a lot of other things that maybe spirit had wanted you to accomplish first, like uh, something to do with creating your stability. Now, you might not have that money flow coming in just yet, but I feel like you're on the road to making it happen. So I'm talking to people who are on the path. Um, and it could be a little different for everyone, whether you're just kind of starting out or you've been on it for a while, but I feel like this is the trajectory again. Um, Spirit's just showing where it could go and how it could pan out for you. I do feel like a lot of you who've been at it for a while have this uh, coming in, a new partnership, and one that's going to be um, really beautiful with the reciprocity. Yeah, it's going to create great change, but I feel like it's in such a beautiful way yeah, I feel like you would fiercely protect this person or they would fiercely protect you. Could go back and forth. You both may feel the same way. Like it's you two against the world kind of energy. I really like that though. I feel like this is the type of person that, you know, they find anybody talking behind your back. They're going to defend you and fiercely at that. I kind of like that. Uh, leadership with the elephant. Yeah, this is you taking a leadership role in your life and, um, really make it, I hear making shit happen. I love it. I think it's great. Um, spirits are really on deck today when it comes to the forward movement and really pushing that authenticity. I feel like that was today's energy. It was more about the self. We did get a little bit of love, but I feel like that's not the primary focus of today's reading. It was more along the lines of making your wishes, hopes, and dreams happen, having your most beautiful life. And then love just happens to be on that path towards your future happiness, right? Um, which I think is really gorgeous. Okay, here we go. Your initials, their initials. That D stands out. I heard the letter B. So I don't see it, but I hear it. Um, so somebody with a B first or last name. I hear red. Yeah, R-E-D. But, you know, that's what I heard, red. Um, could be somebody's favorite color, could be, I hear it's the power color. So, oh, okay. Um, okay. So color energy, uh, the color red is a leadership type of color. It's got that, I mean, business type of energy, right? Um, so 
I kind of feel like it's, it has to do with taking that leadership role in your life. You could carry a red something or wear the color red, paint your nails red, um, wear a red shirt. I feel like it has that energy. You're vibrating that energy. Um, so it has something to do with red and equaling that power color for you. Um, and that's funny too, because I was drawn to red today as well. Um, so I guess that's a little extra. Um, it's taking that initiative to, I don't know, share that type of power energy. It's like you're radiating that. People know that you're on this path and you mean business or you're going places or doing big things. And I heard when, and I hear no whining. We don't do that here. So again, I hear that we mean business type of energy. It's like, you might take a moment out to feel sorry for yourself if something goes wrong, but it's like, as soon as that moment is over, we don't hang there. We don't live there. We don't set up camp, <laughs> set up shop there. We, we get over it. Right. And I kind of feel like this is that type of energy. It's like, you don't allow yourself to sit in that energy. You take responsibility for yourself. It's like, if I have to cry about it, I'll cry about it. But then once I'm done, it's like, we don't have to revisit that over and over again. Um, we don't have to stay the forever victim. It is, um, you know, a lot of times I, a spirit wants me to go into the fact that, you know, yes, sometimes we are the victim of crappy situations and crappy people's actions. Right. Um, so I'm not saying that you're never the victim. All I'm saying is you decide whether you're going to sit there in that energy and live there and stay the forever victim, or you're going to scrape yourself back up off the pavement um, and start moving forward and become more, right? Um, so there is something to be said about that, um, about that strength and that forward movement. Okay. Okay. I feel like you'll, I hear an inspiration to all. So maybe you did go through some really harsh times and you are an inspiration to those who um, see you really doing things or, or creating something for yourself. I feel like that's a really amazing energy to share with the world. Your come up. Yeah, look at that, all the stars. I love to see it. We have star energy. Somebody could be rising to another level of fame. Um, with this one, it's like already a star and rising more. Some of you could be rising into stardom. These two people, I want to say maybe working together. So I don't know if this is a one of those shout out energies where one shines a light on the other. Could be, doesn't have to be, but could be. Or these are two people who shine in their own ways and are um, maybe, I want to say joining forces to create something more, to create something bigger. Yeah, it's working together, um, finding a way to get these two things to work together. So you could do maybe similar things, but just in a different way. Um, you could have two different types of, I want to say fan bases. So and then kind of smashing those two things together and creating something more. It's like, um, I hear darkness and light. It's like two opposites. So whatever they are, um, it's putting those two things together and, and creating a bigger base. So something along those lines. Yeah, spirits on deck with this, whatever this is. It's, okay, I do hear this is for some, some type of collaboration. For others, this is everyone shining individually. So this could be someone rising up into stardom and it can be separate from this person who is from stardom to superstardom. So it's like even bigger. Um, there is a sense of leveling up with this one. So I feel like you'll know if this is for you. I do hear something about music. I do hear, hear something about an art form. So, you know, many things can fall into that category. You could be on a platform. I'm hearing platforms. Um, what else do we have? I hear from platform to the silver screen. So there could be an opportunity coming up. You may be getting a phone call from someone who wants to sign you for something. It could be a small something in the beginning, like a cameo that turns into they call you back or they repeatedly like your energy or like what they got from the first time that they, they tried your energy out. Um, so I really love that. We have 
this star and it's like this is the very beginning I hear twinkle twinkle and I feel like this is the very beginning of the shining for someone um, and it feels so good it feels so good it's like young on the journey um, but I feel like you have a chance to rise in this way as well so gorgeous energy I feel like it's going to bring a sense of peace um, it's like peace in the person, in the soul or something uh, to have accomplished what you've accomplished. I feel like, yeah, this is a dream. Look, we have a dream catcher. So it's like it caught all the negativity and now what's just left is that shining star. Look at this. We have two huge butterflies. Like I said, this is going to create great change in both of these two um, energies' lives. And I feel like there are many within this grouping here and maybe a few I would say three or four within this group here um this is a very specific group and this is um a, a larger group so but it is coming in keep putting the work and the effort and the energy in um if you keep on showing up it is literally inevitable that you are going to have what you're looking for spirit sees it spirit sees it and is on deck they may even be kind of have been pushing you in this direction whatever this is for you for such a long time and it's like spirit's been almost encouraging you in its way um to really become more um to stay open and available to be more to give more to do more really amazing energy i love to see this for you collective um that is what i have for you all Thank you so, so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to become part of this Alpha Yucas tribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.